Hello students, welcome to Akash. I am Umesh Shoyla, your career council expert here at Akash. In this video, we are going to discuss about the process of Odisha Street NEET UG counselling and a unique tool to predict your AIR and the possible colleges you may be eligible for. Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss on some important points related to the Odisha State counselling. The points such as the seat matrix, the cutoff analysis means the last year trend and the counseling process okay the official website is given here please have a look on it a map is visible on your screen in which you can see the mbbs and bds seat matrix which is present in odisha state which is available in odisha state if we talk about the total colleges then there are total 19 medical colleges with a seat capacity of 2725 in which 13 are the government medical colleges with a seat capacity of 1725 and remaining six are the private medical colleges with the seat capacity of 1000 okay if we talk about the dental colleges then there are total four dental colleges with a seat capacity of 363 in which one is the government dental college with a seat capacity of 63 and the remaining three are the private dental colleges with a seat capacity of 300 okay now please have a look on the college list for the mbbs and the bds now the second list not it okay i suggest please take a screenshot for the college list because this will be helpful in your choice filling section the government mbbs college cutoff these cutoff are belong to the 2024 then why we are discussing these here because these cutoff give you a roughly idea that where your air might be lie in 2025 because for the choice filling you need your air okay which will be shortly released by the NTA but after you have your AIR you must have an idea that in which bracket you are lying means the private colleges bracket or the government colleges bracket right okay for the specific quota and for the specific category a refined cutoff is visible on your screen please have a look on it and take a screenshot of it because these cutoff are the highest cutoff of the round four means the last round on which any government college allow the admission got it guys now private colleges cut off 224 for the ex-serviceman for the green card holder for the general category and for the nri noted screenshot taken right now the odisha state medical counseling the government medical college 85 percent state quota aiq 15 percent private medical colleges 100 percent as you all know but let's discuss on some important points in any state the four type of colleges and four type of institutions are present the first one is the state government medical colleges second is deemed university third is state government medical college fourth is state private medical college okay state government medical college means the aims the jipmar the cus cus means the central universities the deemed universities are the fully private universities and counseling for these will be conducted by mcc okay now let's talk on the state government medical college as you can see here 85 percent state quota state quota means these 85 percent seats are reserved for the localites of the odisha means these 85 percent seats are reserved for the local students who belong to the odisha means if i am a outsider student means uh, for an example i am belong to the delhi and i want to take admission in odisha state under this quota under this reservation quota then i am not eligible for this because these seats are reserved for you only okay and aiq 85 percent are under the state quota and 15 percent seat are under the aiq who's counseling conducted by the mcc medical counseling committee and counseling for the 100 percent seats of the private medical college means the 100 percent seats of the state private medical college will be conducted by the state specific counseling authority only okay now if we talk about the fee structure then government medical colleges you have to pay 20,000 to 40,000 per annum approx and in the private medical colleges you have to pay 6.5 lakh per annum approx for the exact fee exact seat distribution we have to wait for the counseling prospectus which will be released at the time of counseling by the counseling authority what process should be followed at the time of counseling the step one you have to complete your online registration on the given website 
after this a declaration of merit list will take place means a list will be published you have to check your name there if it's there then you have to complete your online choice filling for the round one and after the choice filling again a list will be published which is name of the allotment list you have to check your name there if it's there then you have to report at the allotted college with the tuition fee with the applicable bonds and your original documents okay because at time of counseling photocopies of the documents are not acceptable noted now as you can see the closed state closed state means the 100% seats of the private medical colleges are also reserved for the local student of odisha means no any outsider student can take admission in odisha even in the private medical colleges got it if you want 85% seat in the gmcs and the 100% seats in the private medical colleges then only permanent residence certificate holder of Odisha are eligible to avail 85% state quota reservation. Got it? Means no any outside student is allowed to take admission in Odisha state. Noted guys? Which documents are required at the time of counseling or at required at the time of allotment? Your academic eligibility certificate means your 10th and 12th mark sheet. Your NEET UG admit card and mark sheet. Your domicile nativity certificate. Applicable. It's mandatory. Caste certificate if applicable. PWD certificate if applicable. Passport size photograph. You need 8 to 10 photograph here. The government ID proof. For an example, your Aadhaar card, your voter ID card, your DL and the minority certificate if applicable. Okay. Which scholarship is available in the Odisha state than the post matrix scholarship scheme for the SC, ST, OBC, SCBC, EVC and PWD is available in the Odisha state. The condition is that the total family annual income is to be less than or equal to the 2.5 lakh rupees. To know more about the scholarship, you can visit the given website. Okay, now let's have a look on the bond policies which is applicable in Odisha state the service, two year of state service, government and private institutions, penalty 25 lakh rupees, DB 10 lakh rupees. What is service bond? After completion of your degree, you have to provide your service to the state government for a certain time period. If you don't comply with it, then you have to pay a penalty amount which is known as the service bond. And after your batch commencement, if you withdraw your admission then you have to pay a penalty amount for it which is known as the discontinuation bond so there is two year of state service government and private institution means if you complete your mbbs from the government college even from the private college then you have to provide your service at least for the two years to the odisha state if you don't comply with it then you have to pay a penalty of 25 lakh rupees and if you withdraw your admission from the odisha after the batch announcement then you have to pay 10 lakh rupees payment okay to predict your air and the possible colleges you may be eligible for you can use our akash neat rank and college predictor that link is also provided in the description box and you can find it on our website also okay thank you so much for the watching and all the best for your future journey